Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the problem D from the code forces round 980. So let's start. The problem is unnatural language processing. So Lura was bored of deciding uh, and bored and decided to make a simple language using only the five letters, A, B, C, D, E. Now there are two types of letters, vowels and consonant, as we all know that A, E are taken as vowels and B, C, D are taken as consonant. Okay. So which are denoted by B and C. Pretty well simple. Now you have two types of syllables in the language, CV and CVC. So up till now we have five characters grouped into vowels and consonants. And using these characters, you can form syllables of type CV or CVC. Cool. Now, as you can see here, that this is a valid one, which is like BA, because B is a vowel like consonant and A is a vowel. So CV type or CVC type. Now a word is a language in a sequence of syllables. So a word is a lang in, a, in a language, a sequence of syllables. So it's a simple thing that uh, whatever word is a sequence of syllables. Okay, now Lura has written a word in the language, but she doesn't know to split it into different syllables. So you are given a particular, let's say word. Now you have to split it into different syllables and the syllables means that you have to split like split it in this term so that it follows like every splitting follows either cv or cvc order. you just have to print out that and that's it if there are multiple possible you can print out any of them and that's it now how can you do that so uh the one thing that you have to understand that the word follows is from is the the word follows actually this particular language. So it should be somehow that when you split that particular word, it should properly split into these uh, syllables. Okay, you cannot form a particular invalid type of thing. So it will always split into a particular syllable format. So you just have to know that. The next thing is how can you split that? Given that it always splits, you can take this particular opportunity and see that what is the two syllables that you have. You have C, V and C, V, C. So what you can see here is that whatever syllable that you will form, like whatever syllable you will break it into, will always start with a C consonant. Which means that you will always start with a C and then it should have a V and then it can end with a C or not. So why not take that? Uh, let's take this. As an example, let's move this. What we'll do is that we will take this as an example that is B, A, C, E, D, B, A, B. Now you can use a for loop, iterate over this particular string from left to right. And let's say you have a bucket which, in which you store all these elements. Okay, so you will keep on forming that I will first take a C and a B. Okay, so I will first take a C and a V. And my simple rule is that because both of them have C, V, so I will I will always try to first make as many syllables as I can, which is like the maximum possible syllable. So uh, what I'll do is that I will first take always C and V, C and V. Okay, so C and V. So I will take C and then V. So I will take B, A. This is one of the possible syllables. Okay, this is one form. Next one, C and E. This is also valid. Okay, take that. Now, if I take now D and B, this is invalid. Why? Because B, like for a particular C, like a consonant, it should have a vowel now. So which means that I cannot perform this. So what is the next optimal way? The next optimal way is that instead of doing this, why not put D here in the thus last previous added syllable? You have added this as a valid syllable you have seen till now. So, but if forming this C as a new one, why not push it in the previous one? I will push this in the previous one. That will all that should always be a proper syllable as well. Because if this is a consonant, I will push it back into the previous word and it has a V, so it, you can always take a C here because both of them are valid. So what we have tried to do is that if I'm not able to make or follow this particular CV CV structure, if I somehow break it. I will take the last character and push it into the latest added syllable 
and uh, that will form a good one. So now this is actually a good one. Now I will add B and A. Still, I will keep on adding like CV, CV structure, CV. Now I will add a B. Now again, it should have a cons like a vowel attached to it. So every consonant should have a vowel attached to it. If it doesn't follow that particular pattern, I will take that particular consonant and add it to the previously just latest add syllable. And that's it. You have now all the particular thing. So it's a very simple greedy approach that keep on adding CV, CV, CV. If you are not able to get CV, take the current C and add it to the latest added syllable in the continuous structure or series that you have Pretty much simple. That's the complete logic that we will be using here. Let's move on to the code part now. So let's see, understand how we can do that. So what we have done is that this is a simple uh, function to check whether that it is a C or a V. So if it is C, it's a C function. We'll check that whether it is a C or V. Okay. So what we have done is that we'll take an input of the string S. Now we'll keep on iterating over the string S and just check that whether if you have a C and the next one, so if it is a current one is C and the next one, is not a C, which means that it is a V. If the I plus one exists and it is a V. So if the, both of them are CV, it is fine. I'll make that into a new word, uh, not a word like a syllable, and push that particular syllable inside this answer that a series of syllables that we have, the answer. Pattern. Okay, and I plus plus, because the next cat is already taken. So we'll move I plus plus because both of the I and I plus one are joined together to form a new syllable. If this particular condition doesn't match that we don't find a CV, which means that what we'll do is that we'll take the last added syllable in the vector that we have, pop out the last word, like the back word, the last word. Okay, pop out. And then push the latest character, the is character, that is a constant, in the previously last added syllable. And that's it, that's it, it's done. And then push back into the answer vector, which means that I've taken out the last latest added syllable, added the last character that we have seen that it is a consonant. It should always be a consonant because it is always actually what we have seen. The word is actually uh, always such that it will follow that particular pattern. So it will add that particular consonant in that last syllable and then keep moving forward. And that's it. In the end, we have all those particular uh, syllables. So we will have to print all the syllables with a dot. So all the, all the syllables will be added with a dot. And that's it. That's a answer. So that's a complete logical code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the current box of this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Tell keep coding and bye.